Now friends, here is the next question. That's question number 19. Boiling point of liquid X, Y and Z are 80 degrees Celsius, 90 degrees Celsius and 70 degrees Celsius respectively. Three liquids we have, different boiling points they exhibit. Now, boiling point of Y, X and Z in Kelvin respectively are. Very simple thing, we have the three liquids X, Y, Z, their boiling points are given. We need to just convert them into Kelvin. How? By just adding 273. So, if I talk about the boiling point of X, what it would be? See, if I talk about X, in this case, it is 80 degrees Celsius and if you add 273 in it, then what would be the value? In that case, the value would be 353 Kelvin. Now, the turn for Y. What is its boiling point that's given here? 90 degrees Celsius and we need to just add 273 to it. So what would be the value of boiling point in Kelvin? Definitely it would be 363 Kelvin. Now after this the next value that's given here is 90 degrees Celsius that's the boiling point of C. So in this case Z I need to write here and its boiling point is 70 degrees Celsius and here also I need to add 273 and this value is 343 Kelvin. For all X, Y and Z we have calculated and were this correctly given? See, we need to just write the order Y, X, Z. Y is 363 Kelvin further. X is 353 Kelvin and Z is 343 Kelvin. Where it's given? Yes, it's correctly given here in option 2. That's why this becomes my correct answer. I hope it is clear. Now, after this, it's a turn for the next question. Question number 20. On heating calcium carbonate gives two products, A and B. If the aqueous solution of A is acidic in nature and that of B is basic in nature, then A and B respectively are. Simple question it is. You need to take calcium carbonate. You have to heat it as per the question. And on heating, you are getting calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. You know that? Calcium oxide, this is the oxide of metal carbon dioxide oxide of non-metal and if i talk about the nature of cao it is forming the basic aqueous solution while if i talk about the aqueous solution of carbon dioxide this is acidic in nature that is basically carbonic acid that's formed there so the nature of a and B we need to identify on the basis of this. As per the question, the aqueous solution of A is acidic. It means definitely A is carbon dioxide while very simple B is calcium oxide. On the basis of this, we have to find out the correct answer. Now, options we need to choose. In this case, you can clearly see A is carbon dioxide and B is calcium oxide. Definitely option 4 is my correct answer. Now, after this, it's a turn for next question. Now, here is the next question, question number 21. X is a state of matter which has very weak interparticle forces of attraction, very high kinetic energy of the particles and the low density. X is, if I talk about states of matter, we know that there are three basic states of matter, solid, liquid and gas. And if I talk about two advanced states of matter, these are B, C and plasma state. Now the question is, X is that state of matter which has very weak interparticle forces of attraction. If I talk about gaseous state that has very weak interparticle forces of attraction and if I talk about the kinetic energy, that is very high. On the basis of that, if you look at the given options, only gaseous state is there which is exhibiting these two qualities. One is to exhibiting very high kinetic energy as well as there is the very weak interparticle forces of attraction. 
and on the basis of that I am just going to choose option 3 as my correct answer. After this the next turn is for the next question, question number 22. Let us move towards that. 